Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel! If you haven't seen my face before, my name's Emma and this is my channel Little Red M where I post videos weekly. So I'm gonna apologize first if you can hear the aircon and the dryer going. I am just got home from a trip with work and I have so much to do as well as film because oh my god last week's video that I was meant to upload last Sunday. I forgot to press record in one of the parts. <laughs> I did a completely another eye look and hadn't recorded a single clip. Also apologize for the hair. I need a haircut. These bangs are no longer really bangs. I'm just a mess <laughs> but I'm on here filming for you guys and I'm so excited. Today I'm probably just gonna throw this back already because I don't like it. I'm a mess. I don't know why I'm choosing to film today. I'm an actual mess, but hair is up. She's very I dream of Jeannie, but that is fine. But I have a very exciting video today and I'm quite hyper. So this is gonna be entertaining. So I went to Priceline the other day. Ooh. And while I was there, I bought, what did I buy? I bought a Revolution brow gel, which I have in my brows at the moment. It is really, really good. I absolutely love it. I might do a video on it. Ow. <laughs> soon <laughs> but but while i was there they were like oh you get a free product for buying revolution products so i was like yes give me that and it was a makeup palette so it is really really cute it's got little silver butterflies on it um it's called keeping it fierce which i freaking love and let me just get rid of the plastic sheet but this is what it looks like on the inside. Let me tell you, this silver shade is like calling my name, majorly calling my name, but those shadows are gorgeous. So I thought I would do a quick little testing video of this compact travel size eyeshadow palette that would be perfect. <sighs> I'm out of breath. I am hyper, excuse me. I am very hyper, but I'm excited to try this out. So I'm gonna scooch in closer and we're gonna get on into the video. Oh, ah! Yep, already dropping stuff. This is gonna be great. Okay, so I'm going to use my MAC Paint Pot in the shade Painterly to give the shadows the best opportunity possible. So, just going to take this brush that definitely needs a clean. And there is a beautiful mirror in it. Like the size of that is perfect. Kind of reminds me of the Marc Jacobs palettes. If anyone knows what they are. But I'm gonna prime the eye. Mm, I don't like this brush. I need another brush. That one hurts my eyelids. Just gonna prime my eye and then we'll get started. We are all primed. I'm just going to take my Morphe M30. I think, I think I kind of want to do a blue. Hmm. Just going to start with this neutral shade here. Um, they don't have names, they're just numbered. I also love that the, the butterflies are stamped in. That is so freaking cute. I'm just going to start this neutral shade and pop it on the outer corner. Okay, so there's a lot of fallout in the pan, but it's quite pigmented on the eye. Oh, I remember why I don't like this brush. It hurts my eyes, but I need to clean my brushes, so I'm kind of not left with a lot of opportunity. Ugh, are you stained pink? Yes. Oh dear. I'm just using, now going to my Zoeva 228 Luxe Crease Brush. I absolutely love this brush. And I'm just gonna continue putting that on in the outer corner. And yes, I know it's dirty, but I have cleaned it. It's just stained. I just need to actually clean my brushes. But um, news update from the last video um, that I recorded about like a life update sort of thing. I found an apartment. And I'm moving in two and a bit weeks. And I'm really excited, but also kind of nervous to move. I don't have that much stuff, which is kind of nice, but I do, cause I'm moving in, by, not by myself. 
I'm moving in on the lease on my name rather than moving in with someone else. I do have to buy a lot of things. Yeah, I do have to buy a lot of things. I This brown is actually really pretty. I really like it. Um, have to buy a fridge, a washing machine, just a lot of things really, which kind of scares me, but luckily there's such things as seconds and um, basically, if you don't know what a second story is, it's where you go and anything that's kind of been damaged in transit, has scratches on it, has a minor dent, maybe some paint chipped, um, they can't sell it. So it goes to a second store where it's a little bit cheaper. I will definitely bring you along for that process. I'm planning on going on Monday, which I'm excited for. I'm gonna go have a look and suss some stuff out and see what's around, kind of find out how much I'm willing to spend, that sort of fun thing. And I might've found a roommate too, which I'm really excited for. Um, but I don't get the keys until I move in. So can't exactly show the place around to anyone yet. So I'm now just going to take this darker brown here and just deepen that at crease a bit more. You can tell I'm in a talkative mood today. Um, my trip away with work was so much fun. I, um, we went kind of into the outback sort of thing. Um, and when people say their dirt out in the outback is red, it is really red. Like my shoes were covered in it, in this red dust. I was really glad I took my old, old runners, but it was a lot of fun. I am absolutely covered in mozzie bites all over my leg. I counted, I have 45 mozzie bites on my leg. And when I say they're itchy, I mean like they're painfully itchy. And it's one of those itchies where you scratch it just a little bit and it's literally the best feeling in the world <laughs> like i got home today because i'd had tights on for the travel day back to sydney today i took my tights off and they were so much more itchy because they were confined in tights and not getting air and all that sort of stuff they were so freaking itchy that i scratched like i scratched one and it was just the best feeling <laughs> but that was kind of the only bad part about the gig just the bugs like you really don't get that many bugs in Sydney. You really don't. It's kind of really chill. I guess because it's a big city, bugs don't like it. Whereas out in the outback, it's just kind of nature. But it was really cool. I, it's the furthest in inland I've ever been in Australia. Okay, so I kind of really like how this is turning out so far. What do I want to do now? Uh, I'm gonna kind of think I want to just do a smoky eye, but I'm gonna take a little bit of this blue and add it. I think. I don't know. We're gonna find out. This may be a mistake. I may ruin the look. Just gonna put it ever so slightly in here. Ooh. That one had fallout. That definitely had fallout. But it is very pretty. That is so pigmented, too. I mustn't have put as much primer on this eye because it's not sticking as well as the other eye is. Just goes to show how good how good primer is and how how much it can help you look. I've definitely kind of gone for a dark look today. But I kind of like it. It's kind of contrasting to the stupidly giddy happy mood I'm in. Even though I'm exhausted. Because I did not sleep well at all while I was away. There was just it was just so uncomfortable. See, as I said, I probably would ruin it. Just need to bring back some of the light. Oh, let's take that off. See, one eye is going better than the other. Ah! Why does this always happen? So one eye always ends up being better than this eye. This, this eye. Oh, look, yes, there is a difference. I am gonna say that. Okay, I'm kind of gonna stop there because I'm messing this one up. But this one still looks really pretty. So just ignore this eye. It's just not having a day today. This eye, however, this, this is gorgeous. But I do have a little bit of fallout on the blue. So I'm just gonna try and wipe that away a little bit. Okay. Now the question is, do we go 
gold or do we do the silver? I really want to see what the blue looks like. Swatched. Okay, so it's actually really pretty. Mmm. Alright, now do we do the gold? I'm going to swatch the gold and the silver and then we can decide. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, that's a different texture for what I thought it would come out like. Yeah, no, nah, we're doing that silver. That silver is going on my eye. That is gorgeous. And I kind of want to deepen the blue a little bit for it. So I feel like the blue will pop. Oh, that blue is just gorgeous. Okay. And now I'm going to take this silver. I think I'm just going to do it on my finger will apply the best. And I'm just going to pop that right there on the lid. Oh my goodness. That is insane. That is awesome. Oh my goodness. So I'm just going to quickly go. The, the only thing this palette is missing is an inner highlighter color. That is the only thing I would say it's missing. But I'm quickly just going to do my under eyes with a bit of that brown and the blue. And I'm just going to put a little bit of blue. on the inner corner side. Okay, so I'm just gonna go do my eyeliner and mascara off camera. I don't think I'll put lashes on today. I'm just not in the mood. And then I'll be back to give you my final thoughts. So this is the finished look. I just threw on a, a liner, black liner, and I just put on the, what is it? L'Oreal Palace Paris Telescopic Mascara. Um, I could have put lashes on, probably needs lashes. But I have zero interest in doing that right now, so I'm not going to. And then I just have a MAC um, shimmery lip gloss on. But final thoughts. Final thoughts on this palette. Um, for the size of it, it packs a punch. And that silver eyeshadow, I mean, look at it. I mean, it's free. I paid nothing for this. Well, actually, I bought an eye voucher. But I paid nothing for this palette. So I absolutely freaking love this it's a bit too dark for me and too cool toned i definitely prefer warmer toned i definitely prefer warmer tones for my eyeshadow but if you are wanting more of a i call this a drag queen look because i just look a little insane right now but if you are wanting something more um cool toned and dark <laughs> I would recommend this palette. Um, I don't know whether you can actually buy it or whether they're still doing the free promo. Um, I may, I might go find out before I upload this on Sunday and just have a quick question so I can let you guys know. But yeah, this is the finished makeup look. I really like it. And that silver, I mean, I'm gonna use that. That will be the thing I use on the most out of this palette because I've not found a silver that goes on as smoothly as that did and punches in color pigment whatever you want to say but that is all i have time for today that was a really quick video i rambled a lot and have way too much energy but i will see you all next week with another video make sure you like subscribe comment and share bye for now